Well, good morning. How are you? How's it going today? It is Monday morning, June the 8th. Hope you're doing good. Hope you had a good weekend. Hope, uh, hope you're settling back in as things begin, uh, to begin to begin to progress and move forward. That's, uh, that's great information. Hope you're doing good this morning. Good morning, Cheryl. How are you? And Amber, how are you? Nice to see you this morning. Glad you're here with us. Good morning, Candy. I sure miss seeing you folks. I sure do. Uh, it won't be long. I just know it. I just know it won't be long. Things are moving in the right direction. I love that. Hey, question of the day. If you could sum up in one word your weekend, what would it be? One word for the weekend, what would it be? Kimmy Jackson, nice job on the cookies. Wow, what a great treat that was. Everybody that came to the, uh, everybody that came to the uh, uh, drive-in service yesterday morning, Kimmy Jackson made a bunch of cookies, and we had no choice but to give them away and hand them out. And now I hope people don't expect that when we get into the church. But who knows, you know, I mean, we'll see what happens. Good morning, Denise. How are you this morning? And Mary Kay, it was great seeing you and your mom yesterday. Love that. Tammy Jones, am I going to see you tonight? Let's go on a date, huh? What do you say? How would that be? Good. Dick and Candy, glad you're here this morning. And Joan Hughes, how are you this morning? Happy Monday morning. Dr. Ann, nice to see you. Glad you're here with us this morning. And Susie, did you do any camping over the weekend? Um, yeah, Tammy Jordan, looks like you did some camping over the weekend. Huh? That's great. Well, miss you guys. Just miss you all so much. Alicia, how's the weather in Montana this morning? Looking good? Going to be a little warm here today. I think 91, I think, is what I saw. But, uh, hey, that's all right. Stephen King, good morning. John Nichols, can't wait to see the drone footage from the uh, drive-in service yesterday. Very, very cool. Tammy Jordan's one word, fun. I like that, Tammy Jordan. I like that. Yep, that's good. Well, good morning to Gene and Lois. How are you this morning? Glad you're here with us. Gosh, it's great. I love just hanging out with you here in the, uh, here in the virtual lobby. Uh, enjoying my morning Joe. That might be, it might be number two. This might be my number two morning Joe. This might be the second one for the day, but uh, hey, trees. Okay, Kimmy Jackson's word is trees. I, now I'm gonna have to push you on that and say, okay, help me, help me, help me understand that. That'd be, uh, I'd love a little context behind that. Joe Tracy, good morning to you, friend. Nice to see you, Shirley, how are you? Glad you're here. Kristen, happy Monday. I wanna be the first to tell you happy Monday. Josh, good morning to you too, my brother. Ah, terrific. Well, hey, glad you're all here this morning. 901, we got a few minutes just to kind of uh, talk here in the lobby before I got to get to work. I need to get into the sanctuary and get to work. But uh, yeah, Dennis and, and uh, Linda, good morning. Uh, Schaefer's glad you're here with us. Uh, great to have you here. Uh, wet, wet in Montana today. Well, there you go. There you go. Good morning to the Maxis. It was wonderful seeing you guys yesterday. And Anita, good morning. Glad you're here. Oh, my gosh. What a great, uh, yeah. What a, what, a, what a great opportunity just to, you know, just to see your names scroll by. And by the way, when your names are scrolling by, you just look beautiful. You look like you're working out. Your, your name looks all buff and trim and fit and lean and uh, yeah, fantastic. And speaking of fit and trim and lean, good morning to father of the graduate, brother Ken Maxey. Pastor Ken, nice to see you this morning. Great. That was that, man. That was some kind of party you threw yesterday. That was crazy. Aubrey Turley, good morning. Shirley Long, nice to see you. Yeah, we're just kind of hanging out here this morning, loving life. And uh, yeah, another. it's another new day. We have another new week. And uh, hey, what's a big deal? Come on, we can, we can do this. We can so do this. Good morning, Pamela Olson. How are you this morning? Is it, hey, uh, don't wake the old man up. Let Chris just keep sleeping. Let him rise. He's kind of like bread. Just let him rise on his own. Put a cover over him. Let him rise on his own, and it's all it all works out much better. But uh, yeah, he'll he'll what is it? Nine o'clock now. Nine o three. Yeah, he'll be up another hour and a half anyway. So that's that's terrific. Brenda, good morning. Happy uh, happy day to you. Happy Monday to you. Monday, June the eighth, and uh, here we are. The sun is shining. Bill and Brenda, good morning. Glad you're here, Vicki Whitlock. Stay cool today. Nice to see you. Like, like Vicki Whitlock can be anything but cool. That's what I say, huh? Chris Olson is working outside. Of course he's working outside. Absolutely he's working outside. Very cool, very cool. 
Well, yeah, so what one word summarizes your weekend? If one word summarizes your weekend, what's the one word? You know what my one word would be? Hot. Little, little hot. Frank, today's a Smoky Mountain mug day, and uh, I'd, love for you to, uh, I'd love for you to have a Smoky Mountain uh, mug uh, drinking it there at your coffee table while I'm sitting here at my kitchen table as well. Good morning, John Crawford. How are you? Just kind of kicking back and loving life. Absolutely. Why not? Life's too short not to love it. Life's too short not to, not to, not to just, hey, you know what? Make every moment of every day and let's have a little fun. I'm on my second load of laundry, Tammy. Second load of laundry. I promise I'll have it all done. Don't be upset. I promise. I promise it's all going to be done by the time you, you get home. John Crawford, sweat is the one word. I, I'm with you. I get it. Yep, I get it. Uh, yep, Josh. Uh, yep, yep. Water, right? Absolutely. Well, hey, man, did anybody get an opportunity? To, oh, there you go. Tabitha Johnson was at the pool. That's what I was just going to ask. Well, did anybody get a chance to, to get, in a, get in a pool? Yeah, very cool. Well, congratulations. That's uh, glad, to, glad to hear somebody was able to do that. That's uh, very cool. Well, listen, let's get started here this morning, okay? Bill has the laundry done. Bill does more before 9 a.m. than most people do all day. That, that Bill. Well, tell him to get his duff to my place and finish the last two for crying out loud. Robin, I had heard baseball is underway. Congratulations. That's great. I'll bet to, I'll bet every Bodenhausen within miles, and there's thousands of them, I'll bet every Bodenhausen within miles was enjoying watching baseball during the summer. That's great. Well, listen, let me read to you from Colossians chapter 3 because it's an encouragement to me. It's a challenge for me, and I, I pray that it is for you as well. Paul's writing to the church. Once again, we're talking to the church. We're not talking to, uh, we're not talking to, uh, those who are not following Christ, we're talking to, Paul's talking to you and me who are following Christ. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Colossians chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. I, I find a couple of things that are noteworthy that, 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 encourage, that both encourage me and, and, and challenge me. And, and one of those things is that the words of my mouth might actually be a reflection of a clean heart before God. That the words that, come, that I catch myself singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. I loved it last week. Uh, you know, uh, I think it was Sherry, uh, Sherry Wright's idea. Uh, I wonder what people's favorite songs are when they're going through, uh, when they're going through difficult times. What's their favorite song? What, what song do they find themselves singing? You know, I, I love those kinds of questions because it causes me to look back at, at how I'm responding when I'm not even paying attention. When I'm just singing as I'm working or going through the house or, or driving in the car, what's the song that's on your heart? And that it would be a song that is, um, that is, that is sung unto the Lord. Uh, whether, it's, whether it's I need thee, oh, I need thee, every hour I need thee, or whether it's you have been so, so good. Whatever, whatever we're going through, whatever we're feeling, that, 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 that our heart uh, what, what we find coming out of our heart are songs that are, that are reflected of, uh, reflective of, of a grateful heart and certainly a heart that runs to God, that knows that we belong to him, that no weapon formed against us will prosper, that nothing is going to come our way that is too big for him or that takes him off guard or that he's not prepared for in your life or mine. Isn't that great? So shouldn't, so shouldn't the, the, the words of our mouth and the song of our heart be a song of gratitude so that whatever we find ourselves doing, we're able to do it uh, to the glory of God. And if we can't do it to the glory of God, if you can't do whatever it is you're doing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, then don't do it. See, that encourages me. And in addition, as if that weren't enough, Paul says not simply to let the word of Christ dwell in us, but also use it to speak 
wisdom and teaching and, and admonition to one another, encouraging one another in good things, not necessarily being preachy, but encouraging. You know, there's a difference. I don't have time to, to, to break it down this morning, but there's a difference between a prophetic gift and a gift of exhortation where you're encouraging someone to, to, to do whatever it is uh, that you're encouraging. One of the things I love about my friendship with Tom Richmond, he's been my friend since, my gosh, I was in, I was in high school for crying out loud. He's such an encourager. He's able to speak boldly. He speaks, he's, he's not going to mince words. He's, Tom Richmond is not going to candy coat or sugar coat anything. But you know what? He's such an encourager. He's such an uplifter. And the things that he's encouraging are to do right, to do godly things. And, uh, and, and I appreciate that. And you know what? God is able to use every one of us, no matter our background, no matter where we've been, no matter our life experiences. Maybe there's something about spiritual growth that's able to look back even on our own experience and recognize, hey, here's what the right answer is. And here's how I want to encourage people in the right answer. That the goal of life is not simply to gain or to garner as much biblical teaching as we can get. But the goal of the Christian life is to live it out, and not simply for us, but to encourage others along the way in the process as well. So I pray today as we begin this 91 degree Monday, <laughs> is it really June 8th and 91 degrees? Okay, well may the words of your mouth be a blessing to the Lord, and may, uh, may the songs and the words that flow from your heart be reflective of a heart that's in love with God and so grateful for every opportunity. Until we see him face to face. Let me pray for you this morning. Lord, thanks for my brothers and sisters. I'm so grateful for the relationships that we're able to share. And even though we have been distant for so long, it is just so good even to, even to be able to banter back and forth in this technological way. We thank you for uh, even for the opportunity that's afforded to us uh, via the technology of our day. And we pray, God, that we would be good stewards of it. We pray, Lord, that it would only be used to draw us closer to you. And as a result of all of the technology and all of the podcasts and all of the video live streams and all of the teachings and audio books that are available to us, we pray, God, that we would be a godly generation. I pray that for my own life as I pray it for my brothers and sisters. And I pray that their own spiritual health, their spiritual well-being would come forth in the songs that they catch themselves singing. A heart of gratitude, Lord. And we pray, God, that you would use us, that all of our experiences, all of, all of the teachings we've heard, all of our biblical understanding would be used to edify, to build up, to teach, and to encourage others. And this morning, Lord, I thank you for my friend Tom Richmond. Bless him today. And bless all of my friends and go with us and be glorified in all that we do as we do it unto you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, hey, listen, thanks for joining me here. Glad you're here this morning. Um, yeah, uh, check the website, see what's going on this week in the life of grace. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty confident, should the Lord tarry or should I go see him before you do, I'll be here bright and early at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. God bless you, love you. We're gonna be okay. Christ is still on the throne.